on the throwback from the catcher. He eludes Shop and rolls to the shortstop. Block on second, and right now are still on first. Block in the strikeout victim his first time up. Now two out of the inning, three in for the Bears, and a base hit here might score two more. No balls, one strike. Here's the pitch, and that's late into left field. One is going to score. They hold up Walk at third. The Lockrum drove one into left field for a solid single, and the Bears are hitting whoever Tiger happens to have in there right now. Williams comes around to score. Block moves to third. Right now with a second and a solid single for a lock run. That brings up Dickerson, who got a single his first time up. Now we've batted around in this second inning. Two out. And Dickerson up for the Lava Bears. Base is still loaded. First pitch swinging strike one. Lock on third. Right now we're on second. Lock room on first for Ben. Kenny Dickerson, the batter, two out, no balls, one strike, four in for the Bears. Next pitch, down low, ball one. Chop really throwing a lot harder than Whiting right now, but uh, at least, the, the well, he had an intentional walk to right now, and then Lockham laced one into left field. Next pitch, same place, down low again, two balls, one strike. Dickerson looks down at Groner at third. Groner says to hit it. Make contact. The clapping is starting. Lava Bear fans getting into it. Shop ready. Delivers two and one. That's a foul ball right side and a bullet into the stands. Just missed Hal Ekman as a matter of fact. Hal up clapping and cheering. Maybe just glad it didn't hit anybody. Bounced off a chair in the bin section. So two balls, two strikes, two outs. Top of the second inning. A lot of twos to throw at you right now. Dickerson ready. Shop delivers. And that's hit through the right side. And that's going to be an out at first base. As Dickerson goes in sliding. Thought it might get through for another hit. But a good play by Cotter, the second baseman. Finally ends the inning for the Lava Bears. But not before the Bears push across four more runs in the top of the second. So Bend... Now leading 5-0 after one and a half. We'll be back to Civic Stadium after this 60-second timeout. The bottom of the second, it's going to be Rob Whiting, who started out pitching, now in right field. So Whiting up for the first time against Ekman. And a hit bounced over the third baseman, and that's the first hit of the game for the Tigers. Redmond couldn't quite get up enough to get it. Uh, got a high bounce on the turf, so Whiting on with a hit to start things off in the Tiger second. Going to bring up Kevin Barnstrom. And Barnstrom d this afternoon, hitting 257. Bar Whiting at first. First pitch outside by Ekman. Barnstrom, definitely a big boy. He, I would say the 200 pounds definitely is close. 6'1", 200, a senior. Next one right through there, outside corner belt high by Eklund. One ball, one strike. On the Tiger DH. Second batter up in the second inning. Eklund ready, looks over at first, delivers again, that's outside. Two balls, one strike the count. Whiting getting a small lead off first base, held on there by Joe Gettner. Beckman now a snap throw over. Gettner picks it out of the dirt. Whiting back easily. Next pitch, a swing and a miss. Like a curveball had Barnstrom way out in front that time. Count goes to two and two. Nobody out, bottom of the second. Runner on first. Ekman delivers. That's another curve. It's a little high and outside. Going to run the count full now on Barnstrom. That field straight away. And a swinging strike three on the Tiger DH. And that's the third strikeout of the game by Ekman. Brings up 
Jim Squires, number 14. Squires, a 6'1", 175 pound senior. Hitting at 283 for the season, right-handed batter. Whiting still on first, now one out. Ekman checks, delivers. Right through there, strike one. Ekman moving the ball all around so far in this ball game, inside, outside. Squires now takes a look down at Coleman, the third base coach. Steps back in, couple practice swipes. Ekman delivers, swinging strike two. playing short today, number 14. Ready to go again. Whiting with a lead. That's bounce. Can Ekman get it? He does. It's a race to the first base bag, and Ekman beats Squires there. Whiting goes down to second. So that's a one unassisted for Rich Ekman. And Whiting goes down to second. Two out on in the inning. That brings up Steve Cook. the first baseman and I remember Mr. Cook from football and a fast strike right through there. Cook a very imposing specimen 6'6 not real heavy about 175 and a junior thing 298 for the season 0 oh, and 1 the count Ekman delivers again strike two a swinging strike about letter high looking down at Coleman. I'm sorry, Campbell, the head coach. Coaching at third. 0-2. Oh, Leidenauer and Ekman both thought they had that one. Called outside for a ball. Both Ryan Leidenauer and Rich Ekman heading toward the first base dugout on that pitch. Called the ball. One ball, two strikes, two out. Here's the pitch. That is called strike three. Cook turns and throws the bat. And so two strikeouts in the inning for Ekman, and Ekman right now is having things all his own way with Tiger. So at the end of two, it's been five. Tiger nothing. State championship baseball right here on AM 1110, KDND, and Ben. He'll be back in 60 seconds to Civic Stadium. Ready to go in the top of the third, and number three, Alan Aronson, the center fielder for the Bears, starting things off. Aronson got on, had a single, and came around to score in that four-run second inning. First pitch from Shop right through there. Called strike one right at the knees to Aronson. Aronson a hitting 0-38 for the season. And a high chopper right towards the second baseman. Cotter has to back up on it throws and now way late as Aronson wheels it down to first and gets on. Yeah, that's that Astro turf. Aronson just chopped it and it was a high chop. Uh, Cotter came in on it but then had to re retrace his steps and move back about three steps waiting for the ball to come down. So Aronson on with a single. Now his second hit at his many trips. One, Chris Engelhofer. Engelhofer got on an error by the first baseman last time around. Swing and a miss by Chris, only a sophomore. DHing today. Aronson down at first. No balls, one strike, nobody out. Engelhofer calls time, takes a look down at Coach Groner, goes through a set of signs. Monty McDonald coaching for the Bears at first. Elmer Groner at third. Aronson with a lead at first. Now the pitch. That's lined, and that's a double play. Lined right to the first baseman. And Cook used that 6-6 six, six flame or to good advantage that time as he snagged the line drive and then stepped on the bag as Aronson had no chance to get back. going to bring up the top of the order and Dave Williams who hits one right to the second baseman who tries to throw him out and oh he does holy cow a bang bang play at first and I thought Williams had made it for sure 
But that is the third out of the third inning. And so Ben, no runs, one hit. And nobody left on. So after two and a half, it's Ben five, Tigered nothing back in 60 seconds to Civic Stadium. Ready to go in the bottom of the third inning with Ben leading Tigered in this state baseball championship, five nothing. And leading off this bottom of the third for the Tigers, Jeff Kentar. Kentar, the center fielder. And first pitch down low for ball one. Kentar hitting a 421 this season. Kentar, a six foot, 165 pound junior. That one is racked right to the second baseman, Dickerson. Picks it up and throws him out. Dickerson has been a real key in these playoffs. He's played a very steady second base and gotten some good, good hits. And I don't think uh, some clutch hits by uh, Dickerson. And I don't think I'd be going too far out on a limb to say that uh, that was one of the question marks, the second base spot when this season started for the Ben Lava Bears. And Dickerson has come around and done his part, plus a little bit more for the Bears. First pitch to Dave Cotter, and Cotter ripped it foul past the third baseline. Uh, Redmond for the Lava Bears didn't even make a uh, gesture at that one. That was by him before he uh, even had a chance to look at it, but a foul ball nonetheless. Cotter got on uh, thanks to an error by pitcher Rich Eckman last time up. And next pitch fouled off right bias. Back the booth right next to us. If you're a baseball fan, you would pay any amount of money for the seats I've got tonight. Right behind first, uh, right behind home plate. Next pitch on the way to Cotter. Back up the middle. Williams gets it, throws, and got him. The left-handed shortstop, Dave Williams, comes through and makes a nice play going to his right, picks it up and throws a speedy Cotter out. And Cotter looking over and going, how can a left-handed shortstop do that? Is that illegal? So two out now in the bottom of the third, and Dave Schump. Up, a strikeout victim his first time. And that's a foul ball, looks like it got shop right on the foot, first pitch. Two out. And a nice play, really a nice play by Dave Williams at shortstop. Because Cotter really can't run the first batter. And Williams throw got him just by a half a step. Next pitch on the way to Shop. A little bit outside. One and one the count. Now the left-handed hitter stepping in again. The wine and delivery by Ekman. A little high that time. Two balls, one strike to count. Two out, bottom of the third. Civic Stadium, Ben leading Tigard. Five zip. And that outside as well, so Ekman runs the count to two balls, one strike. On shot. Started out the game in left field, now in the pitch. Ekman winds and delivers. That one high as well, and outside. So Shump picks up the easy way to first, a walk. Trots down, I believe that's Ekman's first walk of the game. That brings up Dino Fleurito playing third base. Fleurito, six foot, 185 pound senior, hitting a cool 416 this season. Grounded out to second base his last time up. Timeout now called by Fiorito as he goes a little bit down the third base line and checks with his head coach Tom Campbell. Fiorito, a right-handed hitter. Steps in against the righty, Rich Ekman. Now Ridenauer, the Ben catcher, stands up, waves Ekman off. So the batter steps out. Had he at first base, Ekman delivers. Low, ball one. The shot fell down on the Astro turf, trying to get back to first. Ekman just bounced the ball like a basketball off the Astro turf, bounced back up to his waist. 
Shop with the lead at first. Friarito in the box. Ekman delivers. Strike. Called strike one. Outside corner. Looks like another curveball from Ekman. Count now goes to one. One, two out. Bottom of the third. Throw over to first. Oh, that was close. Chop goes back on his stomach and brushes himself off. A snap throw by Ekman over to Gettner that time. I don't know if this is, this is an indication of uh, how well we're liked in the uh, Multnomah Athletic Club, but the balcony has filled up quite a bit for the Ben Tiger game. And maybe a lot of Tiger fans, huh? Ekman ready to deliver. Now time called again by someone. So no pitch. Would have been a strike right down the middle. Furiarito. Another throw over to first, and Shop gets back again on his stomach. Getting her tagged him in the head. Now timeout down at first. Joe steps back in with a count one and one. Ekman delivers. Low. Trying to go to second. And he's in there safely. Stolen base. High throw by Ridenauer. A shot got a pretty good jump, but I think Ridenauer could have got him with a good throw. Dickerson had to go high in the air to snag it. And the shop slid in under the throw, so a stolen base moves shop down to second base. Two balls, one strike now to count on Friarito. Ekman winds, delivers, bounce towards second. Should be an easy play for Dickerson. Picks it up, throws, and got him. Stolen base, but nobody hurt, and the first base coach from Tigard is absolutely irate. He thought that the first baseman, Gettner, dropped the ball on the catch, but the referee said that he had it, I'm sorry, the umpire said he had it uh, long enough to record the out. So that takes care of the third inning. Ben leads Tigard 5-0 back after this 60-second break to Civic Stadium. All right, ready to go, top of the four, Sean. I'm sorry, let's see who we do have here. That's right, Sean Watts standing in. Top of the four. I was speaking to a gentleman from the OSA. Today's total attendance for all three games, 3,683. Next pitch on the way, and that's a called strike. One ball, one strike now to walk, and uh, according to the uh, OSA, that's a very, very good mark attendance-wise, so. There's Walk hits it, shortstop down on one knee, picks it up, throws across, and he gets him. So Walk starts out the fourth, grounding to the shortstop. That's going to bring up Rich Ekman. Ekman walked his first time up and grounded back to the pitcher. He threw him out his second time up. So 0 for 1 for Ekman in this championship game. The right-handed hitter. Now a shop ready, delivers, and that's right through their belt high for strike one, called strike on Ekman. Five runs, seven hits, one error for Bend, no runs, one hit, two errors for Tiger. Ready to go, and the next pitch to Ekman, that's inside, backs him off a little bit. Ball one, one ball, one strike on the Bend pitcher. One out, top of the fourth. Next pitch to Ekman on the way. Grounded toward third, foul ball past the bag. Ekman stands in, one ball, two strikes. One out, shot delivers, that's down low in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes now on the bend pitcher. A lot of, a lot of people around questioning uh, what Rich Ekman's gonna do after his high school career up here. That's a foul ball into the stands and almost a nice one-handed grab by a gentleman in blue and gold up there. Bounced off the seat. Next pitch on the way to Ackman. Grounded right in front of the plate. That's a foul ball. So count hanging at two balls, two strikes, one out, top of the fourth. Rich Ackman, the batter, getting ready for the delivery from shop, and that's Pat a strike, but it gets past the catcher, and Ekman's going to make it down to first. A strike about chin high, Ekman swung at, I think really more trying to get out of the way, and the ball bounced off the 
catcher's glove rolled all the way back here in front of me. And Ekman dropped the bat, ran to first. So Ekman trots down to first. And here's Ryan Widenow. Who got a hit his first time up was walked intentionally a second. One for one for Ryan. One out, the right-handed batter. And there is a shot. But it's going to be caught into left field and looked a little like it might go a little further than it did when it left the bat. Very few high flies to the outfield. The left fielder took about five steps over, shaded his eyes from the sun, and then made the grab. Two outs in the inning. That brings up Joe Gettner. Gettner struck out both times up. Ekman still at first. Gettner, left-handed hitter. Ekman with a lead. The pitch. Grounded foul off third base side. So Gettner in the hole. No balls, one strike. Rich with the lead. Getting her in, shop delivers. Inside, ball one. One and one the count, two out, top of the fourth. Bend with a runner on, Ekman at first, being held by Cook. Now the pitch, strike. Outside corner, called strike two on the bare first baseman. One ball, two strikes. If Joe ever got around on one down that right, right field line, he'd run for a while. Fouled off back behind me again. Count stays at one and two. One ball, two strikes. Two out, top of the fourth. Bend up 5 nothing in the state championship game over Tiger. Chop delivers and the third strike out of the game for Mr. Gettner. So no runs, no hits, no errors. One man left on, so at the end of three and a half, it's Bend five, Tigered nothing, back after the 60 second break to Civic Stadium. Gets the station identification in here. A little bit after the 7 o'clock hour. This is AM 1110 KBND and Bend. 7.02. And bringing you the state baseball championship on a beautiful Monday evening up in Portland. Bend leading Tiger. 5-0. Five, five runs, seven hits, one error for Bend. No runs, one hit, two errors for Tiger. And Tiger with the four, five, and six hitters up this inning. Pete Coleman the leading, leading things off, I should say. For Tigard, Coleman, the left fielder now, started out in right field. We had kind of a triple switch when the shot came into pitch. But at any rate, Coleman in and left field right now. First pitch from Ekman, a ball. Now ready for the second delivery. And that's right across there. A curveball strike called strike one on Coleman. Coleman, a strikeout victim against Ekman his first time up. Ekman struck out one, two, three, four, four so far. A little bit outside and low that time to Coleman. Coleman hitting 440 for the season, a junior. Right-handed hitter. Facing the righty, Ekman. Steps back in. Ekman winds and delivers. Straw strike two. Right down the pipe. Beckman having great command of his location right now. He and Ridenauer played together the past 10 seasons, which I think probably a lot of kids who play baseball in high school can say if you're from them. Next pitch on the way. That's Lash to Redmond at third. Gets up, throws across, and throws him out. 
Nice play by Travis Redman at third base. You don't hear a lot about Travis, uh, mainly because he doesn't bat. They DH for him. But Redman, a very, very good third baseman, down on one knee to snag that one and throw Coleman out. So one out in the bottom of the fourth inning. Bringing up uh, Rob Whiting. Whiting started off the game as a pitcher and then was pulled in the second inning in the midst of Ben's uprising. And now moved over to right field first. First pitch uh, fouled off down the third baseline, so Whiting quickly in the hole to Ekman 0 and 1. Whiting, a right handed batter. Hit a single his first time up. In fact, the uh, only hit of the game for the Tigers. That one bounced foul past third. The way the gentleman was talking. That's a hit to Redmond at third, and he throws it about into the stands. Redmond picks it up and just corked one. If uh, Coach McDonald and Groner over there on the first base side hadn't ducked, that would have nailed one of them. So that's an E5 on Redmond after I just talked him up. And uh, as a bouncer, he just picked it up and really had a lot of time, but just uh, threw way over Gettner's head at first. So that's an, uh, an error on the third baseman. Whiting now been on twice in the game, on at first with the error. And that's going to bring up Kevin Barnstrom. Barnstrom a strikeout victim, his first time up. Left-handed hitter. Ekman delivers. A little high, ball one. Barnstrom, the DH, hitting 257. Coach Groner now heading out to the mound to talk to Ekman. Ridenauer goes out as well. And Barnstrom heads back up the third baseline to have a talk with his head coach, Tom Campbell. So we're ready to go again. Barnstrom in, and Ekman delivers. And that's hit to deep center field. Aronson back, and he makes the catch about the 380 mark and throws it back in. A very nice catch by the center fielder, Alan Aronson. And the ball hit by Varnstrom very well, but uh, a deep poke to uh, left and uh, right center. So uh, Aronson, a nice play. And two out in the inning. Bringing up Jim Squires. And he goes after a low one, and that's heading toward the hole. Can Dickerson get him? Nope. No play on the ball. Just a slow roller. Ekman couldn't get off the mound in time. I, I, you know, the AstroTurf is so much faster than anything these kids have played on before. Uh, Gettner had to go back to the bag, and once it got past Ekman, but Dickerson had no chance to get him. So an infield hit for Squires. Second hit of the game off Ekman. That means Whiting goes to second. Squires at first, two out. And that's going to bring up Steve Cook, a strikeout victim times. Yeah, should be Steve Cook. Okay, we had uh, a little out of order here. Here's Cook, a strikeout victim his first time up, the right-handed hitter against Ekman. Runners first and second, two out, first pitch, low, ball one. second. Squires on first for the Tigers. Cook batting. Pitch called strike and snap throw down to first trying to get Squires back and that did the job. Getner cut the throw off the first baseman before it got there. One ball, one strike, two out. Bottom of the fourth. Beckman delivers right through there, called strike two. Cook turns around, and he, right now, he's just baffled. He doesn't know what to have to do against Ekman. Look down at Coach Campbell. Campbell just told him to try and take a cut at one. Ekman winds, delivers. He does take a cut at one and fouls it off back into the seats on the first base side. Bounce down the third base line, and that's foul past the third baseman, Travis Redman. second round of the state football playoffs way back in November. Tiger coming out on top that time in Tiger. Ball outside. Runs the count to two and two on Cook. 
Two balls, two strikes, two out. Bottom of the fourth. Ekman delivers. Right at Dickerson. Picks it up. Throws over to first. And that ends the fourth. So again, one. Well, I guess you better make that. Well, the 